Wood shrimp come under a few names. Wood, rock, bamboo, filter feeding, Singapore, flower, fan shrimp and a few more I think. They use their four fan-like appendages to capture microscopic particles from the water and manoeuvre them into their mouths to be consumed. So you'll often find them around filter outlets and in position in current streams where there's increased water flow and this allows them greater success for capturing more food. Therefore, if your water is too clean, they'll actually starve. One way you can ensure a food source for them would be to keep Amano shrimp as the females will release larvae into the water column, which a wood shrimp can then catch and eat. I've been told they prefer groups, they prefer to live in groups, but I've rarely seen any interaction between them. You couldn't call them graceful either, as they bulldoze from one place to the next and will often uproot uh, plants and dislodge ornaments in their reckless approach for getting A to B. As they grow, they shed their exoskeleton and you'd be forgiven for thinking their molt is a dead shrimp when you first come across it. And when they do molt, they will hide for safety until their new shell hardens. So they prefer heavily planted tanks for cover and when searching for them, they can often be found gripping to the underside of broad upward facing leaves such as on Amazon swords. Uh, they tend to be a little more active at night and you can often see them by shining a light into your tank when lights are out. They appear to change colour. Uh, the general colour is brown with a stripe along the top but I've seen uh, green and blue and sometimes the stripe, the orange stripe along the top of them is a very, very orange, deep orange, beautiful colour. They're reasonably hard to sex. Males are larger, but if you only have one or several of the same sex, you'll have nothing to compare to. But the other way you can do it is looking at their legs. Females have all three pairs roughly the same size, but the four legs on the males are larger than the other two pairs. This is a bit more obvious when they get to about two inches, and ultimately they get to about four to six inches. They're similar to Amano shrimp when it comes to breeding in that they require salt water to reproduce. So reasonably tricky to do in a home aquarium. They are native to Southeast Asia and they need a hard alkaline water similar to cherry shrimp for healthy shell growth and a temperature around the 72 mark or 22 Celsius. When you're buying them, it's a good idea to check that they have all their legs, antennas and eyes to make sure it's a healthy shrimp you're getting. They're totally peaceful, they'll not bother any other tank mates, but you need to make sure you don't keep them with any aggressive um, fish or creatures as they don't have claws or any other defence against attacks or over inquisitiveness. They're really interesting to watch. Relatively undemanding and a great addition to a community tank and I would highly recommend them. Thanks for watching. Later.